Ladies' Day at Ascot. A challenge to every fashionable woman to look her exquisite best, perhaps her hat the crowning glory. And giving flamboyant imagination full scope was the headwear displayed by Norman Hartnell's glamorous young ladies, fair and brunette. As they left for the course, there was just one fear, the weather. Rain could spoil it all, perhaps ruin it. But so far, all was well. Invading Ascot this year was the miniskirt, some so short that fashion's next move could only be downwards. And then the rain came, not a light brief shower, but the relentless downpour that mocked the preparations for Ladies' Day, condemning everyone to shelter beneath raincoat and umbrella. Where for two days all had been bright and sparkling, wet desolation now ruled. The hundreds of women whose hopes had centered on Ladies' Day could only sustain their spirits by wishing, almost willing, the rain to stop. Yet even the optimist began to doubt that it would. Hope springs eternal at Ascot, especially in the young, and many at last felt that the sky had become a shade brighter. Their thoughts turned to racing again, to the Gold Cup, with its small field offering a good chance to everyone to spot the winner. And at last the rain did stop. The sun made a tardy appearance. The hats came into their own. In choosing the fashions to film, we accepted the guidance of Miss Margaret Safranek of Woman's Mirror. The general opinion was that Ascot standards were more than fully maintained. The question everyone was asking, could Fighting Charlie win the Gold Cup for the second time running? No horse had done so since Trimdon, 34 years ago. The Queen with the Duke of Norfolk saw Aegean Blue without making it clear what they thought of his chance. Fighting Charlie seemed in good trim after a recent setback. Her Majesty wore a coat of pink wild silk and a close-fitting pink hat. The Queen Mother was in a lime green silk coat with matching tulle hat. She too apparently sized up Aegean Blue. The betting, as always at Ascot, was heavy, boosted this year by the lure of the jackpot, standing now at more than £80,000. The Gold Cup, worth nearly £11,000 to the winner, is a race of two and a half miles. What a thrill for the mini backers of Fighting Charlie to see the great horse way ahead of Biomydrin and Mintmaster, and winning the Gold Cup by eight handsome lengths. So, after all, everything, the ladies themselves, their hats and the racing, turned the tables on that unspeakable rain to make Ladies' Day a triumph.